cockpit management or cockpit organization is very important. Something as simple as not being able to find your pen or pencil when you need it to write down ATC instructions can cause your flight to not go as smoothly as you originally had intended. Some things that I recommend for you to help be more organized in the cockpit are things such as a knee board. The knee boards come in VFR or IFR and have useful information on them that you may want to access during flight. The knee boards also come with a strap to securely fasten the knee board and your items to your leg. And where you place the knee board is pretty important. If you have it placed too far forward, it's easy to write on it, but when you go to use the ailerons, for example, a strong crosswind takeoff or landing, the, the knee board may be in the way of the ailerons being fully deflected properly. So you may want to snug the knee board back a little bit. This still allows you to write, but it doesn't interfere with your flight controls during the flight. It's important to have something to write on, whether you choose a piece of paper or a tablet. I recommend a tablet. You securely fasten the tablet on the clip of your knee board and organize even the way that you write information down. Perhaps you start at the top and work your way down throughout the flight. Some people get in a bit of a panic and they write all over the place and then when they need that information they can't remember where they wrote it. So even being organized when you write information down is pretty important. And once you practice a few times, you'll get the hang of it. It's very important to have an airport diagram, whether you want to look at the one in the airport facility directory or have a photocopy like I do. While I'm taxiing or coming in for a landing, I would place the airport diagram on the side but clip it firmly so it doesn't fall on the ground during turbulence. And this still allows me to have room to write, but I still can see my airport diagram. And then during the flight when I don't need my airport diagram, I can just tuck it neatly underneath and have it readily available again for when I return back to the airport. The other thing, you would like to have a current sectional chart. Always make sure that your, uh, your charts and whatnot are current. And I would open this before I got airborne and open it to the proper section that is going to pertain to my flight. So, for example, if I'm going to fly around the Greenville downtown airport on this particular flight, I would open it so I can see the Greenville downtown airport region and I would fold it so I can easily see the information on the chart. I like to place that underneath the knee board so I can pull it out quickly during flight if I need to. Sometimes I will choose to leave it open a little bit larger and place it on the floor, but I'm very particular in the way that I place it on the floor so when I pull it back up, I can find my spot immediately again. You would like to have an airport facility directory with you also. You may have, be familiar with the local airports, and for example, you were going to go do a flight over to Pickens and then come back to this airport. But when you flew to Pickens, an, air, an airplane landed and had a flat tire on the runway, so you can't land there. And then when you went to return to this airport, perhaps there was a thunderstorm and you can't land here. So now you're going to have to go to an airport that you didn't originally plan to. And it's very nice to have the airport information to all of the local airports readily available so you can flip through it in flight. I usually keep my airport facility directory just tucked behind the seat where I can grab it easily if I need to. Now your writing utensil, whether you choose a pen or pencil, it's up to you, but I absolutely recommend that you have one if not two backups. And where you place your writing utensil is pretty important. Me personally, I usually use a pocket shirt to fly with, so I always put my pen back in the same place. I can grab it and put it away with one hand and still have my hand on the yoke. I recommend that if you do choose a pen to use the clicker style pen instead of the kind where you have to remove the cap because then you're going to have to let go of the ailerons to remove your cap and to re-secure it again. Now where you place your pen is totally up to you but I recommend that you form a habit so you know where it is every time. The knee boards usually come with a uh, small space on the side or a hole on the side where you can place your writing utensil. But during turbulence, it's kind of hard to hit the right spot. Some people choose to uh, just snap their pen on the side like that. Uh, some people like to tuck it under the leg. That's not the best idea because often the ink ends up on the seat cushion, which is not a good thing. Uh, one thing that I think works really, really well is to have a piece of Velcro and place the Velcro across the top of your knee board and then as the other small piece around your writing utensil. And that way I always know where my pen is, pen or pencil is, and I can grab it with one hand and put it back with one hand, no problem. 
but you want to be organized and you want to create habits for yourself. Even uh, where you put the checklist in the airplane is really important. You don't want to necessarily clip the, the checklist on top of your writing pad because then you can't write when you need to in the spur of the moment. Um, I like to put my checklist back in the airplane pockets, whether it's on the side or um, in between the seats or something, but I always make a habit in that particular airplane of where I put stuff and how I put stuff. Even organizing your radios and your nav equipment, where do you like to put your ground and tower frequency, where do you like to put your, um, your weather frequency and stuff like that. So it's very important to create habits and routines for yourself so it, everything just flows nice and easily and you can have a nice smooth flight.